Hello. So I know I haven't made a new video in a while and there's really no excuse to why I haven't made a new video. Um, but the reason that I wanted to make a new video is that I wanted to talk about all the books that I read in 2014. I like to see what other people have read in the past year. Normally on booktube people make videos of books they've read in a month. I'm going to make a video about all the books I've read in the entire year. So I'm just going to get into it and not make this introduction too long. So I'm just going to go in order of the dates that I read the books. Um, the first book that I read last year was Ocean at the End of the Lane by Neil Gaiman. And I think this is like my favorite book of 2014. I love I loved this book. I loved it. I just... Oh, if you like Neil Gaiman, if you like adolescent childhood stories and like fantasy elements, you'll like this book. Also, this is a beautiful cover. I love this book. The next book, or well, books that I read, um, I picked up were, was the um, Divergent series. I read the entire series, like one after one after the other after the other. I really enjoyed the first book. Second book, me. Legent. Duh. Moving on. The next book I read in 2014 was Mr. Penumbra's 24-Hour Bookstore. Uh, I remember liking this up until the end. I've always, I have like a problem with endings sometimes. Oh, it was so long ago that I read this book. I just I kind of forget it. I remember liking it though. The next book I read was, well I reread The Fault in Our Stars because the movie was coming out and I wanted to reread it. And my copy is signed. Green J. Scribble. The next book I read um, was a graphic novel. Wanting to get more into graphic novels. Um, so I read Blankets by Craig Thompson. I've been hearing nothing but good things about this book. And like every time I went into the bookstore and I saw this, not last year but the year before, um, I've just been wanting it. I think I went on a little reading slump after that one. It kind of took me a little bit to get back into reading. The next book I picked up after Blankets, because I was kind of in a reading slump, and Blankets kind of put me in a reading slump, because it wasn't really, it took me like a couple days to read. So I picked up Lucid um, by Ariana Soltz and Ron Boss Bass. What intrigued me about this book was it was about like the concept of dreams and like lucid dreams and something like that, and it that's what got me interested in picking this up and reading it. But I didn't really like the characters. It was kind of... Meh. I don't know. I liked it, though. I enjoyed it. The next book I read was Attachments by Rainbow Rowell. I thought this book was super cute. I love Rainbow Rowell's writing. Um, she's quickly becoming one, one of my favorite authors. Um, I love this book especially because of the, the characters and their quirky romance and the way that they get into predicaments and stuff like that. Um, I really enjoyed this book. The next book I read, I only read because it has a super pretty cover. I've been hearing like so much hype around this book so I wanted to pick it up and try it out. Um, Cross the Universe by Beth Revis. This book was kind of disappointing for me. Um, it was okay. It was good. It was the, for the story and for the idea, but for the characters and the plot development and I just, I don't know. I did pick up A Million Sons, the second book in the series, but I don't know if I'm going to get around to it. Tell me if the second book is any better than the first. Unless you like the first book, then I'm sorry. Not sorry. Next book I picked up was Four by Ro Veronica Roth, the like companion novel to the Divergent Insurgent and Legion series. Um, I saw this at, I was just browsing around Walmart for some reason one day, and I walked past this book and I was like, I need that. I need it. Because <laughs> I loved Four. Four was like, a, like my favorite character in Divergent. But not so much in Allegiant or Insurgent. I mean, Insurgent, he was alright. But 
So I picked up this and it's just like short stories from his perspective. I liked it. It was all right. I think I gave it like three stars on Goodreads. Also, BTW, if you want to check out my Goodreads page, I'll put it in the description so you can go check out all the links to these books. The book I read, well, books, was the entire Maze Runner series. I kind of split them up between other books that I read. I read, I read The Maze Runner, and then I read, like, three more books in between, and then I read Scorch Trials, and I was kind of reading other books while reading these as well. I read the entire Maze Runner series, and... I kind of have mixed feelings about it, like, it always, like, start, series always start out good for me, like, the first book was amazing, and the second book was, like, okay, and then, well, the third, and the third book is, like, yeah, and then fourth book was, I actually like the fourth book, fourth book was alright, it wasn't as disappointing as the ending, but I still, I kind of had mixed feelings about these books, um, but I got the box set, so I was committed. I was committed. Never again. <laughs> Actually, I love box sets because I can buy all the books and not have to keep getting each one. I read I read The Giver after The Maze Runner because I, I saw the movie and I wanted to reread the book. I have an old copy of The Giver. It's like with the old cover. I know that I've seen some new pretty covers of these books out. Um, but yeah, I gave this a reread because I went and saw the movie. The next book that I read, I don't actually have because I borrowed it from a friend. I read Miss Bourne, The Final Empire by Brandon Sanderson. And oh my gosh, I love that book. I think I gave it like five stars on Goodreads just because I, I loved it. I loved the characters and... Um, the world building and the magic, the explanation of magic in the books. Um, if you know what I'm talking about, you get what I mean. I'm looking forward to picking up the second one. I also read Miss Bourne in between other books as well, because it was, it, was, it was a long book, so I read other books in between it as well. I don't normally read more, multiple books at the same time, but the only reason that I read so many books in 2014 was because I did that. Um, because normally I'll just read a book and then put it down, pick up the next one, read it, put it down, pick up the next one. Uh, that's what I usually do. But it kind of worked out this, this, this past year. Anyway, the next book that I read, uh, in 2014 was Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. I picked this up around Halloween time just because I wanted something... Halloweeny to read. I really enjoyed this book. I like I it wasn't as what I was expecting, I guess. But I still I really liked it. I um I'm not sure if I'm gonna pick up the second book yet. Just yet, maybe. I'm not sure. Did anyone like the second book, Hollow City? I don't know. So these next three books that I read in twenty fourteen I got because they were pretty books. I'm not gonna lie love pretty books. I read another graphic novel. I picked up Uzumaki by Junji Ito. I think that's how you say it. But I heard about this book before and it's about this town that's contaminated with spirals. And I just, I love the artwork in this book. It is beautiful. This is the kind of like artwork it's like that I would draw. <laughs> That's like reminds me of what I would, I would like to draw. Um, like why didn't I think of this? Um, it's just beautiful, beautiful. Awesome. If anything, pick this up because of the artwork. Cause it's just a beautiful book, and the stories inside are in itself good stories as well. They're twisted and creepy, and I really enjoyed them. The whole book isn't in color, by the way. It's yeah. The whole book isn't in color, but it'd be really cool if it was. The next book I picked up, I also picked up because it looked super pretty. Super duper pretty on Book Depository. So I wanted to get it. It's The Sleeper and the Spindle by Neil Gaiman and illustrated by Chris Riddell. Oh, this book is beautiful. 
This book is beautiful. Look at this dust jacket. When I take it off, it's like... It's see-through. It's see-through. I am so excited about this book. If not for anything, just to have it because it's so pretty. The story's not half bad either. It's a children. It's kind of like a children's feel fairy tale book. And I enjoyed it. Quick read. Kind of like to get my numbers up on. But no shame. I only did that with like two, three books. So it's not, eh, not too bad. Anyway, and the last book that I read in 2014, like completely, was My True Love Gave to Me by Stephanie Perkins and like 12 other, 11 other people. There's like 12 Christmassy type New Year's holiday type stories and I got this super pretty edition. I saw this on Katie Tastic's uh, booktube channel and she vlogged about how pretty this book is. So I went onto Book Depository and bought the UK version of this book because I wasn't really feeling the US edition. Sorry, not sorry if you like it, but look at it, it has pink pages and a ribbon bookmark. And it's so pretty. And it's so pretty. I really enjoyed some of the stories in here. I, lo I loved, I loved a lot of them. There was some that I wasn't crazy about. I really liked reading it right around Christmas time, the week of Christmas and New Year's, and uh, I just finished it right before the year ended. That about wraps it up for books that I read in 2014. Um, like I said, I'll link my Goodreads page in the description if you want to check out any of the links to the books. Um, and check out if you want to follow what I'm reading on Goodreads. I love Goodreads. I update it like all the time when I'm reading. Um, and here's to a good reading year in 2015. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye!